third row in the middle. Mark Stalwart, Miami Times. Uh, Jimmy, you play for Larry O'Brien. Uh, knowing from here on out that the trophy will be in the building, what's the mentality on Monday night? Uh, same thing it's always been. It's a game at a time. Uh, now we're in a must-win situation every single game, which we're capable of. Um, some correctable things that we got to do, but um, it's not impossible. So we got we got to go out there and do it. We got three to get. We're going to go to the right side, first row. Cooper Moorhead, Heat.com. Kyle, they had 19 makes in the restricted area and 13 cuts. So even though Jokic and Murray didn't have the most efficient nights, what were they doing to get behind the defense? Uh, I think we were up a little higher, you know, trying to make sure that uh, we showed bodies on there coming off the pick and roll. Um, a couple of their cuts were kind of, you know, just random and kind of just landed in their lap. But, um, you know, I think we just got to find a way to kind of keep the ball in front of us. And, you know, it happened tonight. They got, they got good cuts tonight. We're going to go on the far right side in the back row. Jimmy, Nick Friedel, ESPN. What is the biggest message you want to impart to the team over the course of the next couple of days heading into Monday? Um, no doubt. Um, we don't have any of that. We don't have no quit. We're going to continually fight starting tomorrow to get better. And then we're going to go on to Monday and, and do what we said we were going to do this entire time and win. We have to. Um, we have no other choice. Otherwise, we did all this for no reason. So the guys know, we know, um, we got something to do. We're going to go to the first row in the middle. Uh, Jimmy Rohan, Ockerney Sports Illustrated. Um, I think this regular season was your highest efficiency offensively in your career. Uh, we saw, kind of saw that carried through the first round. This series, it's been a little bit more up and down. Do you feel like it's just a matter of you not making the shots you normally get, or is there another challenge that they presented that's going to hurt you that way? Uh, it's always a make or miss game. It's a make or miss league. Uh, I miss some shots. Um, that's just part of it. But I don't. I don't think missing shots for our team will ever make us win or lose a game. I think we have some lapses and you know not getting back the cuts, the offensive rebounds. Those are the, the areas that we can't control that we do have to fix. So whether I'm missing shots or anybody else is missing shots, um, those are the areas that we got to be better at. We're going to stay in the middle. Melissa Roland, Fox Sports. Um, Jimmy, is there a commonality to how you guys have overcome every obstacle that you guys have faced this season? And if so, what's the approach to obviously what will be your greatest one? Um, I think so. I, I just think we, we really do believe in one another, um, in ourselves as individuals. So we've done some hard things all year long um, in this playoff run as well. Uh, and now it's like the hardest of the hard. But like we always say, you know, the things that you want is on the other side of hard is I don't know what. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, that's our reality. So we got to go out and win three straight. Second row in the middle. Jimmy Vince Goodwill, Yahoo Sports, you repeatedly said throughout this series that you're going to keep kicking the ball out to your shooters no matter if they're hitting shots or they miss nine in a row, you'll kick it out to them for a tenth. They've repeatedly struggled at some point in this series. Do you feel like you need to be more aggressive yourself, taking shots that you don't normally want to take just to switch up the juju of the defense and maybe try to get a different result? No, I won't do it. Um, I, I, got, I got too much faith in my guys. Um, their shots will fall. Um, they've been the reason behind us winning so many games, and I'm not, I'm not letting that faith in them waver. I, I won't do it. Um, I'm gonna continue to play basketball the right way, pump confidence in those guys, and we're gonna always live with the result. We're gonna go on the left side in the back. Aurelia Rico for the German Basket Magazine. A question for both of you. Um, Spo said that you guys are like made for that, that you need those games where you have a must-win situation. So would you both would agree that you need those games, like the next upcoming, that you're in a must-win situation? Go ahead, guys. Um, I think we uh, understand we have to thrive and we, we got to win. And um, I think it, uh, it heightens our uh, intensity. Um, you know, I think 
you know, he's winter go home right now. And, you know, we're, we've been, our intensity has been pretty high. And, uh, but when you get in these situations, you have to really be focused on every second, literally every second. Last question in the first row. It's Will Giller with the Athletic How. Uh, Gabe has talked throughout the playoffs about, you know, your mentorship and how much you've helped him the past couple of years. Uh, back to back tough games for him. Just what's kind of your message to him to help him kind of get back on track uh, going into game five? I think just uh, being ready to play. I mean, Gabe's been unbelievable this whole playoff run this last couple of months. Um, Gabe's a tremendous basketball player. Um, you know, our league is a make or miss league, and you got a guy in Jimmy Butler who's going to continue to pump uh, confidence into him. I'm going to pump confidence into him. He's going to come on and have a great game, game five. He's going to uh, get, you know, we're all going to get some rest, recover, and uh, get in that plane tomorrow with the, with, the, with the mission in mind. Thank you, guys.